in Niagara Falls are against a proposed plan that could mean higher taxes for properties for people who live there. News 4's Angela Christophoros explains what it means for you and how soon it could happen. Angela? Christy, no one likes the idea of potentially having higher taxes to pay. But Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Dyster says it's been over a decade since there was a property reassessment in the falls. And he says the city may be overdue. Signs that read stop the reassessments are on lawns of several homes in the Cataract City. You pay enough as it is a lot of money for taxes. I don't want to see it go up at all. Muriel Cook is one of several residents who is against a proposed property reassessment that could raise taxes for some people who live in Niagara Falls. Cook says she already pays some of the highest property taxes as a resident of Cayuga Island. I'm retired. My husband's ready to retire. So we're all on, you know, uh, fixed income sooner or later and affects you for the rest of your life. Several other Niagara Falls residents have the same concerns. On a fixed income, and we only got so much money. I mean, we ain't eating top of the line. You know, we're just barely getting, making ends meet with our Social Security. Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Deister says some homes are paying more and some are paying less for taxes than they should be. He says a citywide reassessment would ensure that everyone is paying their fair share. And he says it wouldn't increase taxes for everyone. I could raise property taxes for roughly, the estimate is a third of homes, uh, although not necessarily drastically, it could be marginally. It roughly about a third of homes in this reassessment usually stay the same. But one thing that a lot of people don't realize, roughly a third of homes in a reassessment have their taxes go down. Deister says city council is still speculating what areas of the city would see an increase. Muriel fears Cayuga Island would be one of them. When it comes to having to pay higher taxes, we're all suffering. And no matter if, you're, if you've got the money or you don't have the money or you're still working or you're retired, it hurts everyone. Mayor Deister said it could be a while before a citywide reassessment actually happens. The soonest would be 2019. He says residents will have plenty of opportunities for public input before then. Live in the newsroom, Angela Christoforos, News 4 at 4.